My name's Ashley. I live in Sydney and I'm a personal trainer and a Nike trainer. I was always into sport as a kid. So athletics, touch football and dancing were like my main thing. When I moved to Sydney, I moved to Sydney to actually do a performing arts course. So it was like musical theater, ballet, tap, jazz, all that stuff. So that was full time for two years. But once I got out of it, I realized I had no idea how to train myself. I'd never really been in like a proper gym. I'd always done training with my coaches. So I asked a personal trainer. He was training me while I was doing this course. And then I got out of it, had to support myself after this, fell into the hospitality trap, got really, really, really unhealthy, and then went, like, how am I gonna train myself? How do I fix this? I looked into doing a personal training course to just teach myself about it. And then it just really evolved from there. I just really grew a passion for it. I think she really pushes me to go as far as I can safely. She uh, she takes me outside of my cover zone big time. <laughs> uh, but I like that because she's uh, she's really like friendly about it too. So it's like not awkward. It's like you actually want to push yourself harder because she encourages it. Punch it up, punch it up. Too easy. Challenges that I find that I can relate to with my clients is um, consistency. So especially with nutrition, I find that's the, the hardest part. Training people can turn up to, but being motivated and disciplined to do your nutrition is probably the hardest, and I can definitely relate to that. <laughs> There's so many, like, sugar is just so addictive. <laughs> um, everyone loves pizza, but, you know, if you've got a goal, you've really got to work for it. So I think that would be the hardest part training and nutrition to steps to like stay on track you just have to create discipline so the best way to do it is have a big larger goal break it down and then break it down into daily steps that you need to achieve so you need to go to the gym you need to hit your macros every day that is the basic if you're doing that every single day the rest will come but you just need to get into the habit and into the process Chris and I were looking at dogs and he showed me this awesome dog. It's, they're called Malinois and we're just looking at them because they're super athletic. They, they're military dogs, so they're super, super intelligent. Um, look how smiley I am talking about Thor. I love him so much. They're the most intelligent dog I think you can get. And then we found that there was a breeder in Sydney and we're like, oh, should we do it? We're calling up. And then we just kept watching the videos and Chris is like, I'm just going to get you it for Christmas. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so it was the best thing ever. I don't know about the puppy in general, but the best part about having Thor is he's exactly like me, but in a dog form. So like scavenging for food, like looking around the house for food, just super annoying, like waking me up at all hours, just running around. He's got these big gangly legs that is exactly like me. <laughs> um, hopefully when he's older too, he'll be super athletic. So loving to just do everything all the time, running. He's just me in a dog form. A lot of people think that they have to just go, go, go all the time. I really teach my clients that, you know, you only have to train four days a week to get results. You need to balance life, but that doesn't mean you go to the extreme and, you know, you have a big party weekend and then try and balance that out with 
training know you need to find discipline in both. As an example for myself, um, getting up at 4, 4.30, traveling on a good time, you know, 30 minutes towards the city, but having to travel anywhere over an hour, you, you know, you're wasting time. So I decided to just completely change, leave the city, do the training down here. That for me, like that was just a change I wanted to make and that's just made my sleep quality so much better. Just my, my day to day, I'm just happier. What I say to my clients especially is you've got to find something that works for you. So if you know that you're going to be tired at the end of the day, try and get up half an hour, an hour early and train in the morning. But if you come home and you just go and plonk in front of the TV, you know, that's an hour that you could have done something. You don't have to go full out. You know, you can start small, but you could have done something rather than just wasting time in front of the television. I know you need your relaxing time, but gym is also therapeutic and relaxing as well. I used to run and do ballet and athletics, so I wanted to just be, it was all about the cardio-based session, so I wouldn't leave a session unless I was dripping with sweat and felt that I'd worked out. And, you know, it took a while to understand that you don't need to be dripping with sweat to have a good session. I don't know the shift, but I just, I really love feeling strong. Like, thinking, you know, I love walking into the gym and feeling like I'm the strongest person there. Like, there's, it's just super motivating to me to be able to throw weights around. I love it.